Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we are making the Seaboard Coastline Whopper Hopper. Now this is a one-of-a-kind three-axle bogey hopper built by Pullman Standard in 1964, and it is quite huge, and it was one of the largest hoppers built at the time, and it was later repainted to ACL, which is Atlantic Coastline. Now when I was researching for building this rail car, I actually found a story where it was being transported to the North Carolina Transportation Museum when it's coupling detached and I thought that one might be a cool idea for an animation So I did make an animation on that. So if you haven't already, please go watch it And yeah, this video is made possible by Ferromex SD70 ACE So thanks to him for making this video possible and let's get started So the first thing we're going to do we're to take out acacia planks and we're going to go on top of the tracks Make it two blocks tall like that or two blocks above the tracks and three blocks wide. Then the front in the middle, we're gonna add dark oak slab. That's gonna be our coupling of a dark oak fence gate underneath, which is the air brake hose. Now behind it, we're gonna add acacia trap door right there in the middle. And then we're gonna add in the wheels. So that's gonna be a uh, gray terracotta. So let's add a pair of that. And then we'll add in two of these uh, red sandstone walls then another pair of wheels, two more walls, another pair of wheels like that. Then we're going to add hoppers, sides of the wheels. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add in acacia stairs upside down in between each of these hoppers like so. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now in the spaces in between where the axles are, we're going to add in dark oak uh, fence gates in between like so then we'll go to the back part add a Kisha sign right in front of that stairs next we're going to add a three block wide red concrete make it four blocks long so one two three four fill in it and then we'll add a two by three of black concrete then we'll add smooth quartz, three blocks wide and four blocks long. So one, two, three, four, extend the rest. Then we'll add a row of red concrete here, another four block long uh, smooth quartz, and then two red concretes, or actually three red concretes like that. All right, so we got that shape and now we're gonna add in acacia trap doors in the middle of this red concrete for both of them like so. Then we're going to go in the middle of this smooth quartz. We're going to add in these two smooth uh, slabs like that. Go to the other one, do the same thing here. And we'll add iron trap doors uh, to the sides of them. Like so. Same thing on the other side. And then we're also going to add an additional one right here next to this part. And acacia fence gates uh, before and after that acacia trap door like so all right then we'll take out acacia slab and we'll line that up all the way across to the end of it and then we'll do the same thing on the other side go all the way across like so so we got both sides done and then we'll go uh, line up this black concrete and we're going to make red concrete uh, five blocks tall, so one, two, three, four, and five. And do the same thing on the other side. Once we have that, we're going to fill in the bottom portion in, three blocks tall, like so. Next, we're going to take acacia fences and add it in these two corners, like that. And we're going to make it two blocks tall. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add acacia trapdoor in between right there. And then we'll go uh, right here to the side, add in two acacia fence gates like that, and open the one towards the edge. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add in acacia stairs in the middle. And then we're going to add an L shape with red sandstone. Add another uh, acacia stairs on top, diagonally up, like so. Next, we're going to add a 2x4 of smooth quartz on the top row. And then we'll fill in this corner here, smooth quartz. 
And then we'll add in smooth quartz uh, stairs on the sides, directly down. And there'll be um, another brick stairs here. And the rest will be smooth quartz stairs across like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak button in the right hand corner like that. And acacia fence in the middle all the way down to that stairs across like that. Next, we'll take out smooth quartz and then line that up on the sides all the way across to uh, the edge right there. Same thing on the other side. Cross like that, and then we're going to go all the way down. Smooth quartz. Like so. And then we're going to fill in all the spaces in between with smooth quartz. Alright, so once we added the smooth quartz on the top and the sides, go back on top and add a row of five across acacia trap doors. And then behind that, we're going to add three. But then we'll add in six acacia slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip two, and then add three, like that. Then we're going to go on this outer edge here, or the inner edge. I don't know what to say it, uh, what to call it. We're going to add the acacia trap doors all the way across alongside the center. All right, so once we have that, we're going to add in uh, acacia trap door, every other block on the sides. And then we'll add in red carpet in between. So fill this in first. Then take out our red carpet and then add it all the way across on top. Just on the sides, don't do the middle part. So it should look like this. So next we're to go on this side and add acacia fence all the way down to the bottom. Like that, while the other side's going to be slightly different, uh, just add in acacia uh, fence gates like this. Going to be sort of like a ladder. And we're going to open all of them up except the bottom one that we already placed before. And we're going to add another column right over here, another ladder. Open it up. And it'll go all the way down like so. So it should look like this. I'm going to add a deer right wall, and then skip one, another one, and another brick wall in between. Then we'll add a acacia fence all the way down here, and then skip a block, another one here, skip a block, another one here. Like that. And then we'll go on the other side and add uh, acacia fences every other block like this. And we're going to go across uh, both sides, just do the same thing, just more of these uh, fences. Alright, so once you've done that on both sides, let's go down on this side, and then we're going to add in uh, dark oak buttons all the way across the bottom half. And then we'll add another two here. While on the other side, it's going to be two on top of each other, skip block, and then add it three of them like that. Then we're going to go to this edge here and delete these two blocks and replace it with black concrete same thing on the other side so uh, this part is going to be our middle part and we're going to flip it off to the other side just rotate it 180 degrees so that we make this part all the way over here so once you have both sides it should look like this now we're going to make the SCL first so it's going to look like this so go down here add in two black concretes here on the left and then we're going to extend the top part by one like that. So that is our C. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So go right over here. Add two of them here and then one on top. Now we're going to go back to this side and then go on the top row and we're going to skip three blocks. So one, two, three. Then add black concrete here. And we need to make the L. So make a little tiny L shape down like that. Sort of looks like a C, but it's in like a diagonal or italics. Now we'd go on the other side, um, skip these three blocks here, and then add two here. Then make a backwards L underneath. So we got that SCL. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So go on our other side, skip three blocks here, add one here, make a tiny L here, then skip three here. Delete this block here, add two like that. 
and then make a tiny L shape backwards like that. So we got the SEL on both sides now. All right, then we're gonna go on this side and add in the brakes. So that's gonna be um, this uh, acacia trapdoor. Close it up with a red sandstone wall underneath, and then acacia fences all the way down cross like that. I'm going to add red sandstone inside, make it four blocks long like that. Add a acacia slab with a acacia trapdoor right there. Then we'll take out a acacia fence and then we'll add three right next to that other fence. Then we're to go on the other side right over here and then we'll add in these two acacia trapdoors right in that little nook. Yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the SEL Whopper Hopper car in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.